I'm starting off today's vlog by showing you my nails. They were looking very ratchet. They're a lot better now. I did this Essie nail polish. It's called Fun in the Gondola. Um, I typically like like neutrals, but I thought, hey, let's do let's do a pink right now because it's fun. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. It is four o'clock. I just got ready. Um, I showed you guys that I painted my nails. I took a shower. I've had one and a half cups of coffee. <laughs> I am convinced that we're gonna have a good day today. So I got ready today, which hasn't happened in quite some time, I must tell you. I put on this dress, it is by Zimmerman. It's so comfortable. And I have on my slippers, and then I did did some makeup. I feel like I have a hair on me right here. Um, every time I use this like bronzer brush, it's huge and it sheds a bunch of hair on my face. <laughs> And I'm always like, do I have hair on my face? Like, I know I have like a natural mustache, but like it's brush hair, you know what I'm saying? So today my plan is to clean out my closet. I cleaned out my closet not too long ago. I did it right before quarantine happened, but I'm gonna do another clear out. But this time I'm actually gonna try the pieces on, see how I feel about them, actually be realistic on whether or not I wear something because I physically do not have the space and I'm constantly changing and my style is evolving and there's no need to keep things that i don't wear you know what i mean so i'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff um, that is my goal i genuinely want to sell things and just have the space open up because i don't want to have like a cram closet and whenever i start running out of hangers i'm like okay it's time to get rid of whatever i think because i do add close to my wardrobe regularly. Um, I also need to take things out of my wardrobe regularly. Regularly. <laughs> this damn pigeon is always like pecking along. Do you guys wanna see it? I'll show you. This pigeon knows all of my secrets. Oh my God. They always just like nest up here and they nest over here and all the pigeons are like always around here and they've seen me do everything all the time. <laughs> all right, let's go to my room and start cleaning. Welcome to my messy room. My socks are always on the floor. I'm gross. This is, this is the real tale. <laughs> I have become very messy, but in my defense, um, it was clean last night and I did all of this today. So I just like to make a mess and then I like to clean it up. I've kind of always done that. I do the same thing with my dishes. I love to like pile it and then clean it and like deep clean everything. Um, yeah, so here is my situation. I have this rack of clothes. This section is new and then I need to move my jackets because obviously I'm not wearing like my parkas and fur coats right now. <laughs> Flower update. Flowers are now dying. They lasted two weeks, which isn't bad. I expected them to die a lot sooner. Luckily, they lived a good life. Then this is the rest of my closet. Um, I have some stuff on the bottom as well. And I do have some coats and whatnot here, but most of these guys um, are kind of like lighter shirts. I plan on moving some of these guys. They're more like blouses and short sleeves and whatnot. Um, moving these on my rack because now it's seasonally more appropriate to actually wear these, even though I'm not really wearing anything except my sweatpants. <laughs> and then my pants. Um, they just I've come to terms with the fact that they just get messy tops I really need to go through my tops and try tops on because I have so many that I just don't wear and then my sweaters I'm gonna do another take of my sweaters these guys I know I'm for sure keeping because they're like my favorite sweaters these ones um, I feel like I'm keeping but I'm gonna go through them and then yeah so I'm gonna figure figure it out and I do have some other clothes that I've already set aside from previous declutters those are my bras and underwear which I don't feel like anyone needs to see. And then I have some t-shirts. I've gotten rid of so many t-shirts over the years um, and I've gotten really good at not buying t-shirts. <laughs> Beyonce, that's my best friend. And then I have some skirts and whatnot. I'm gonna clean this out as well. And then belts also, can't forget about the belts. This is my like loungewear, workout, um, sweatshirt section. I swear this was clean like yesterday. <laughs> I just rummage through my stuff whenever I'm looking for something. I honestly just want to take inventory of what I have and I think going through your clothes really helps you identify the pieces that you gravitate towards and it helps you shop better and shop smarter if you are shopping and just kind of like it lets you get to know your style and yourself and how you've evolved or how you haven't evolved. Um, so I think it's really important to go through your closet all the time and see what you are liking, what you are not liking. And as I said, style changes like for everybody. Um, it just does because people change and people grow. So I think there is no better time than right now to actually look at everything that I own, try things on if I need to, and really figure out 
um, what pieces are bringing me happiness and pieces that I love and then what I just I'm holding on to for some weird emotional reason. <laughs> I will put everything up on my Poshmark. Hopefully by the time this video is live everything will also be on my Poshmark because that is part of my decluttering. If I get rid of like five items and then I can buy one item in replacement of it <laughs> then that doesn't make me feel as bad as just like hoarding stuff and buying stuff all the time without um kind of like doing an in and out rule you know so yeah okay <laughs> i'm gonna start by putting all my jackets on my bed and going through my coats and jackets We have our first pile. Now I'm gonna try on most of the items. Um, this I know I'm keeping. It's one of my favorite jackets. It's like a mini mini little fur jacket I got from Zara like five years ago. I still love it. This I also really love. I actually do wear it. I like the length. I really love longer jackets. They're really good for fall. And since I've moved to New York, I found that they're just the easiest to throw on and they add a lot of warmth. I like this as well. I wear it a lot with like basic black outfits. Ugh. This one! <laughs> Guys, when I bought this, I was so in love with it. They shipped it from London. It's from All Saints. Um, I made like a special order because I was so in love with it. But there's like a problem with it where it just does this weird, like it sticks out on one side. And I know that you can use this um, like kind of tape called top stick. They use top stick in the fashion industry. Stylists also use it to like tape down certain parts when they're doing photo shoots or whatnot. So yeah, top stick is this kind of like tape um, that you can use. And I know that I can buy top stick and apply it, but my other issue with it is this color. I just don't wear it. I honestly don't reach for it. I love it so much and it was really expensive. I wore it a couple of times. Um, I got this back when I was in Vancouver. Yeah, I'm gonna put this up on my Poshmark because I don't wear it. I honestly don't. I have to part with it because there's no point of holding on to something that I don't wear. This color is just, I've learned my lesson. I don't, I don't wear this color. <laughs> Okay, this I love. This is like, it's one of the most expensive things in my wardrobe. <laughs> don't tell. Um, and I love it so much. This is the kind of purchase that I'm like, I would. I don't think I'll ever be sick with that jacket. My one and only leather jacket. Can never get rid of this guy. I love it. Um, it's by Sandro. Leather blazer. I just got this leather blazer. Like, I literally just got it. But a part of me wishes that this was a little bit oversized. I kind of don't like that it's very fitted. I'm going through like, I like things to be really oversized phase. Another one of my favorite things that I own ever. I love that blazer so much. This blazer. My issue with this is it's a little too fitted for my liking. I love the color. I love that it's like an eggshell color. I don't like stark white um, blazers. For some reason, I feel like they just look really doctory and I'm not into it. I figured out that I like my blazers to be a little bit more oversized. It's too professional, <laughs> in my opinion. A little fact about this blazer is I got it at a Coupol sample sale in New York and I accidentally got the smaller size because I always knew that I liked my blazers to be a little bit bigger and like looser just because they have like a more relaxed feel. Sample sales are so hectic. There's so many people around. Um, there's just so much going on. Like there's 10 people changing in like a closet. And um, I accidentally gave her back the, the person that asked for sizes back. I gave her back the, um, the one that I wanted to buy. So then I accidentally got the smaller size and sample sales, everything is final sale. This, ooh, we love this one. This is like a favorite. Some white tops can never get rid of my flowy white tops. Another blazer, we like this one. So we're keeping that. This little jacket. I like the silhouette of this, but honestly, I don't know. I have this little cropped jacket. Me and my dresses, I have I have a big attachment to dresses. I can't get rid of them. I have three long skirts. Um, I have this one by Ula Johnson. I have this one by Zara. I think I'm holding on to this to see if I wear it during the fall. Um, because I feel like it would be really, really cute. I love the pleats and I think it looks more expensive than it was. So I'm gonna hold on to this just to see if I do actually wear it this upcoming fall. If I don't, then I'll definitely sell it. And then this is another skirt, um, which I haven't reached for that much. I wore it a couple times during the fall and I love the fabric and I feel like it fits really well, but that's a maybe. No, I like it. 
I'm gonna try that one on. <laughs> okay, as my camera overheated, I proceeded to take out my pants and my tops. So I've decided these are the pants that I'm keeping along with um, just my jeans that I left in there that I know I'm keeping. I have four pairs of pants that I'm unsure about and I'll be trying on to see whether or not they make the cut. And now I'm gonna tackle the tops. <laughs> Do you guys remember when I was obsessed with this? Well, I still am. I think it's just a weather thing, but I haven't worn it. <laughs> But then again, this would be the time that I would be wearing it. When I see it, I'm like, it's so pretty. But I haven't worn it this year, but I think it's because of quarantine. I guess I should try and make some outfits with it and see if I want to hold on to it because I still do love it. Like, how beautiful is this? I got this from Zara last year yes exactly this time last year is when i bought it now because i haven't worn it i'm like do i even wear this <laughs> black turtleneck that's some staples okay i feel like i'm literally keeping all of my tops i got this three and a half years ago camisoles are going to be a huge trend for spring summer next year um they're everywhere on like every runway they had camisoles so i'll make some outfits with it see if i do want to hold on to it um if not i'll sell it but i like i love this it's so basic i don't think it's like bothering me to keep it but i also haven't worn it <laughs> again another spring summery top that i would be wearing right now but because i i'm not wearing it i feel like i should get rid of it this i loved it's like a sexy kind of camisole little little reformation corset this freaking top you guys i bought this when i was living in vancouver and if you don't know vancouver weather is like seattle weather it's raining all the time and i bought this top in some kind of like weird pa parallel universe side of my brain it's perfect for like think like moroccan vacation or i don't know some kind of hot resort i feel like revolve kind of makes you feel like you're going on a vacation all the time because like hashtag revolve around the world this top keeps me up at night <laughs> On to the next one. I have such an emotional attachment to dresses and jackets. Um, I definitely know it because I hold on to dresses more than I hold on to anything else. I love this dress. Um, I typically sell every Reformation dress that I own. It's like the only way I can kind of rotate my Reformation wardrobe. <laughs> but um, this dress I wore for I think my 22nd birthday and I love it so much. I just can't part with it. I only wore it on my birthday because it does have like a slit. Um, it's just so pretty. I can't get rid of it. And then I have some other dresses. This one I love. I have such good memories. This one as well. I can't get rid of it. This I have never worn, but I want to give it a chance because I do think it's really pretty. So I'm holding on to that one. And then I have some more dresses. did put aside I think two or three dresses that I'm going to try on and decide whether or not I'm keeping. So this is now full. I can try and squeeze some more stuff in here which I'll try and do. Um, and then this is also packed. I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how I got everything in there to begin with. This closet is isn't huge um so i think the jackets are taking up a lot of space whereas before everything that's on this rack was in here and um i don't know kind of what to do about that so that's my like try on figure out pile these are my dresses um the tops will be folded so i'm not worried about that but this is the current state of everything right now there's someone standing right outside their window and i don't want them to see me <laughs> can't know my secrets. I've made a lot of progress, but I do feel overwhelmed. This happens every time I clean out my closet. And I feel like I do I do a clean out a fair amount of time. I do it like twice, twice a season. Every time I'm like, oh my God, I have so much stuff. So I moved all of the stuff that was in the wardrobe um, here. These are all my tops basically, like from here to here. That's like all the tops that I have. Actually, I'm lying. I have a few more over here. <laughs> I moved more of the fall winter stuff here. Folded the parkas and put them down there so I don't see them. And I have more space to kind of like put dresses and other things in the closet. Here are all my jackets. Here are some of my more like fall jackets and blazers. And then I put some of my more like spring summer dresses out here. So at least I can 
remember that I have them and actually wear them. And I feel like this looks a lot more messy now because I do have the gray hangers, but at least this way I can see what I have and actually like style and get dressed in the morning um, because I kind of forget that I have these clothes. Like look at all my white tops. I have a white top problem. <laughs> They're all like long sleeves. These are one of my weaknesses when it comes to the top world. And I love texture too. So they're all different and I don't want to get rid of any of them because I do love them and I do wear them. Um, and they are transseasonal. I mean, at this point, I'm just like inside and temperature doesn't really affect me all that much. And I'm cold all the time. So long sleeves are actually preferred in my world. <laughs> Hello, it is now 6.30. I feel like I haven't made any progress but I have, it is still light out, so I should technically continue decluttering, but I'm hungry. I wanna make a pizza. I have been wanting to eat a pizza for so long. The other day I was looking at, the other day, <laughs> it was yesterday, I was looking to see if Prince Street Pizza, which just so you know, Prince Street Pizza is my favorite pizza in New York. Prince Street Pizza is literally the best pizza I've ever had. Um, it's so good. Like, I, I don't know what they put in there. It's addictive. I love it. It's so good. I can't have it once because then I'll want to have it. Then I'll want to have it. <laughs> I want to have it multiple times, so I just can't have it. Like, your girl wants to support this pizza joint, but I just can't do it because they don't deliver to my address. I always crave pizza, and I've been having so much salad that I feel like I can have a pizza today, you know? Okay. I'm gonna take out the pizza dough. I've never made it before, but it's a ready to bake um, herb and garlic pizza dough. I'm gonna FaceTime Kane and ask him how to make a pizza. <laughs> if he picks up. I wanted to ask if you've ever made a pizza before, cause I have questions about like the order of things and I feel like you'd know. <laughs> that phone call was pretty funny. Um, we talked for like 30 minutes. <laughs> He's like, Kimia, they put the dough, they put the sauce. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to make a pizza. I was thinking you cook the crust first and then you put everything on, but now that now that I've been refreshed, <laughs> that's not how it works here. I'm gonna start by cooking the chicken. I put the seasoning that I am now obsessed with. Like, I totally get the hype now. <laughs> it's literally just salt, chili pepper, cheese, chipotle, and cumin. I'm gonna bake it for 25 minutes because that's how I know that the whole chicken is cooked because I have tested it out before. I was starting to get cold, so I just changed into a black hoodie, black sweatpants, and some tube socks and i didn't want to get anything um pizza related on my dress <laughs> the chicken is cooking i just chopped up all the chicken and you guys using this oven um i did a sponsored video with them a while ago like before quarantine it literally makes the chicken so juicy i don't know if it's just any conventional oven but any kind of baking um before if i would bake chicken in like the regular oven it would always be dry or i would feel like it was like uncooked in the middle and i'd cut it up and then have to recook it figured out cooking a chicken breast in a conventional oven is the best way to cook it because it's so freaking juicy. Since I lack the counter space, I'm just gonna flour this pan and then make the dough. Uh-oh, that might be a bit too much flour. Ooh, it smells so good. People who make pizza just do this, so can I just like let gravity do its thing? Okay, this looks a little bit, a little wacko. Here is the flattened out pizza dough. This is the canvas we're working with. Now I'm gonna put on this marinara sauce. It's what I have. It's the tomato basil marinara sauce, the like basic, the most basic of sauces at Trader Joe's. Oh. We need more. Can I just like empty the jar out on this? Yeah. Oh, there's never too much sauce. But like also I am scared the bread is gonna get all soggy. I love marinara sauce. I can honestly just eat it right out of the jar. Um, let me know if you guys are the same. I can put it on anything and it makes me feel like I'm having either pizza or pasta. So you really cannot go wrong with marinara sauce on anything. I say that weird, marinara. <laughs> I can't pronounce marinara either. 
you guys some quattro formaggio i'm like what's the point of a pizza if you don't have a lot of cheese on it arugula and onions added now i'm gonna put the chicken on top man down how does this look so far and then i'm also gonna put olives on there she's ready to go into the oven just took this out of the oven. I had to cut a slice to make sure that the dough was cooked and the first time I did it, it was not cooked. So then I put it back in the oven and now it's cooked and oh my God, it looks so good. Ooh, is it weird to say that this smells like someone I know but I don't know who it smells like. It just literally smells like somebody that I know. I am so excited to eat this. It's the moment of truth. It's time to try the pizza. I'm worried it's gonna be really hot. I feel like every time I try something, it's like scorching hot. A bite for you. Here is the pizza. To be completely honest, I can't tell if the dough is cooked. <laughs> like I don't know what it's supposed to taste like or what the texture is supposed to be. Very good, I love the flavors. Yeah, I'm gonna eat the whole thing tonight. I'm not even kidding. I'll definitely be remaking this pizza because I needed pizza in my life. <laughs> I'm finishing up the current season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm on episode 10 of the seventh season and I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I've kept up with it since it's been on. Um, very good show, very funny. I love the kind of humor that they have. And it's just like lighthearted. Before that, I was watching Big Little Lies and that was like a lot more deep and more dramatic <laughs> and i just want something that's light and fun and you know you can just zone out and enjoy we got the pizza we got the brooklyn 99 we're having a great night i have to finish up the clean out tomorrow um so i kind of put everything on my bed and i'm gonna try everything on that is everything that i wanted to say and i'll see you guys tomorrow Good afternoon, everyone. We are continuing with the closet declutter. I already looked through all my clothes, so now I've made my pile of things that I am going to try and see if I'm gonna keep or if I'm gonna sell and just basically figure it out and take care of some business. I'm now gonna change from my comfy outfit into the clothes that I'm considering getting rid of. So those are the shoes. I have clothes in here. I have this huge pile of clothes that I will now proceed to try on and see whether or not I'm gonna keep them. You guys, I can't do it anymore. The sun has already set and it's like kind of dark dark and blue outside. Um, I took pictures of most of the things and I put them in a box. I'm just gonna store them in this box until um, I guess I get rid of them somehow. I have some more clothes that I still have to take pictures of here. I store my shoes on the bottom and then this is what the rack looks like. So basically I moved everything that was in the main closet onto the rack because these are more appropriate for now and the season right now. And then I put my jackets here, a few of my blazers and then some more like fall style dresses and my pants pretty much look the same and I stored all my tops here and then the sweaters I didn't touch just because I had already gone through them and was happy with my choices so this is everything that I have in my closet now I believe that is the whole decluttering of the wardrobe I'm gonna make some dinner now and basically I'll call it a night I hope that you guys enjoyed this video this took a long time like I'm surprised that taking pictures and um, posting them and whatnot was taking so long but it really did and who knows I'm probably gonna do another one of these declutters during this quarantine because there's nothing else to do <laughs> um, but yeah I'm gonna make some dinner now not sure what I'm gonna have I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you all in my next one. Bye everyone.